What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Saturday. The weekend is here. It feels great. It's May 7th. We are getting closer and closer to the good old summer days. Even though it's already 95 down here in Southwest Florida, I still love summertime. Listen, this video, you got to check out these headlines. You got to check out these headlines, folks. We're going to talk about a massive statement that just came out of an ex-Ripple employee's mouth just last month. And yes, it is in regards to XRP. How about XRP liquidity being talked about and tort over in China? Now, why would they be doing that? Ask yourself a question here. And then the XRP ledger. DEX is going to be able to integrate MetaMask and other Ethereum assets to help bridge them over to the ledger. This is absolutely huge. This is massive news. We're going to cover it. And folks, if you didn't get on to my first ever live event last night, 6 p.m. Eastern, the recording is up. I went on. I talked about Lux Lions. I talked about my NFT project, the vision, where it's going. You don't want to miss it. Go listen to the video. You'll find it on my YouTube page. Now, as we always do, we're going to review price. We're going to head over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing? We're kind of seeing a flat market right now, right? We've been flat. We've been in a range. Bitcoin down has been stuck in a range. Bitcoin's coming at $36,104. That is up 0.18% in the past 24 hours. XRP is coming in at 60 cents. It is currently down 0.94% in the past 24 hours. Solana is still the number seven spot. It's actually pretty neutral on the 24 hour chart. I don't get it. It's a broken network, but somehow it's still $81 and XRP is only 60 cents. Makes sense. I know. I know. Don't shoot the messenger. Total cryptocurrency market cap. Just a tad bit under 1.7 trillion, coming in at 1.68 trillion dollars as the total Bitcoin dominance has found itself back in its range at 40.68%. For all the new listeners, the range that Bitcoin dominance has been in since November of last year as it floats between 39 and 40, 41%. What does that tell me? What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that Bitcoin is not ready to make a decision of where it is going to go. Now, as we move forward, I want you to all remember and to remind you of this. Just a couple of days ago, I put out this XRP arbitrage system. I've been using it and I have had some amazing results. I've known someone who's been in it for quite some time and he is making a killing. I did my research. I released it to the Patreon group. A lot of people have gotten in. I would suggest you go check it out. There is nothing like making XRP daily. You can actually withdraw the XRP that you make every day. There's no lockup period on your earnings. Take them out when they come in. Do what you want with them. Recompound them. Move them to your wallet. Completely up to you. Go check out the Patreon. Go get signed up. The system's free to use. That's the beauty of this. It is a free to use system. Check it out, folks. And then last night on the AMA, look what I released. A little preview of the website. Want to talk about the Lux Lines Oasis? Here you go. Check it out. Yeah. I, I said it last night and I will continue to preach this. Lux Lions will be a household name by the time 2022 is done. This is going to be one of the biggest, largest NFT projects to hit the XRP ledger. Here's the solo decks. Price action, price charts are looking absolutely phenomenal. We have a nice consolidation right around the pre-sale price, to be honest with you. So it's not like you're late to the party. But you know what happens? The longer the base, the higher we go to space. This thing is going to do a moonshot like you've never seen anything moonshot before, folks. Then the bearable bull puts this out. Interesting numbers right here. It's been exactly four years, five months, two weeks, and four days, six hours, 42 minutes, and 22 seconds. Now 23 seconds since XRP hit its all-time high. Absolutely ridiculous. You know what? Does it hurt? People ask me all the time. Does it hurt? You've been in holding XRP since 2017. You've seen every other coin around it move up. You've seen people, your best friends in crypto, 
who invested into these other projects make a ton of money, but yet here you are sitting holding your XRP, and it's been four years and five months before this thing got back to its all-time high, which is a measly $3.96. Are you upset? I'm not upset. Does it hurt? Of course. But you know what? When we have, when us XRP holders have our day to shine, when we have our moment, it's going to make up for lost time. I know where the price is going. I know what this token can do. I'm not worried about it one bit. So we're, we got the last speed bump in the road, right? This SEC lawsuit. Once it's over, and it's going to be over, folks, everything comes to an end. Whether it be this year, like I firmly believe, whether it be Q1 of next year, which is only about eight months away, I'm going to be here. I'll be here with a larger bag. I'll be ready. So am I upset now? I ain't upset. I know where this is going, and it's going to get there, and it's going to get there quick. Then, ERC20 News puts this out on XRP.com is excited to announce that Allbridge IO and on XRP have joined forces to bridge Ethereum assets like USDT to the XRP ledger. This also means that they are working on a MetaMask integration as the first XRP ledger deck. Folks, this is groundbreaking news. Groundbreaking news. Here's the article. It states on XRP has partnered with Allbridge to enable cross chain transfers between the XRP ledger and 13 different EVM and non EVM networks. Blockchain bridges are programs that allow tokens to be transferred from one blockchain to another. It is a service that simultaneously monitors both networks. When a user requests that tokens be moved, the bridge picks them up in the original network and issues them in the needed one. This partnership will enable the XRPL community to access other blockchains by using all bridges unique bridge architecture. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to bridge Ethereum and some MetaMask over to the DEX. This is exactly what I am talking about. XRP Ledger will be the send-all, be-all. I've been saying that for quite some time, and I, I'm a man of my word, and I stick to what I'm saying. I stick to my guns. And the Crypto Area puts this out. And this is very interesting, because this ties back in to Ripple posting that position in China, to Ripple's connection into China via American Express and Trangelo. We know Trangelo is using on-demand liquidity to go into China. The Bank of China is actually one of those ODL partners. She says it's nice to see XRP liquidity use case was explained through a tutorial in Shanghai, China for the IEE virtual blockchain conference. Here it is. Here's the conference, right? Just went down May 2nd to May 5th. Here's the program at a glance. Tutorial number four, Ripple XRP ledger from theory to practice. That's right. It went from, it went from a theory. Everything goes from a theory, right? It goes from being on a piece of paper to actually becoming reality. This is what they taught for two hours. It stated, the XRP ledger enhances the, exist the existing worldwide payment infrastructure and services by providing XRP tokens to ensure quick liquidity and acting as a global settlement network. XRP can act as a bridge asset that businesses and financial institutions can use to bridge a transfer, a transfer between two different currencies. The purpose of this tutorial is to provide the audience with a detailed image of the latest developments concerning the XRP ledger through a theoretical presentation including several examples which will be followed by a practical demo. The tutorial consolidates the most relevant information from theoretical aspects like Ripple's consensus and network gossip gossiping mechanisms through simple practical aspects like creating an XRP account or XRP transfer and to ultimately create a private XRP ledger testbed. Tremendous, folks. Why are they teaching this to a bunch of, I don't want to say they're not kids, but to a bunch of professionals over in China? Now, I want to get into this. This is Dilip Rao on a blockchain venture summit. He used to work for Ripple. I want you to listen to this clip a minute, 10 seconds. This is going to segue us into the last point here in a massive statement that was just stated by Dilip. Hopefully, the volume's up. Hopefully, you can hear it. Here we go. 
No, so as I said, the X current product, the way it's implemented today, uses fiat currencies. So the convergence that we see coming in the next phase is for banks to have an option to say, do I want to use XRP? So instead of the German bank holding Turkish Lira, they could say, Akbank, uh, are you able to accept XRP and give me Turkish Lira? Here's 100 Lira worth of XRP. Here's a million Lira worth of XRP. Mm -hmm. And instantly, that can be settled without having to hold balances. So that's, that's the, the holy grail. That's the ultimate end goal that we're aiming for. But if you don't have connectivity, you, know, you, you can't even start. So first, you get the banks connected. They do what they're doing today better. They like it. They build new services on it. Then they go, I want to do this in 100 countries, but I can't hold currencies in 100 countries. Well, guess what? You got XRP. So it's a, you know, it's a, it's a phase strategy, but that's the way you know, banking works. I really enjoyed it. It is a phased approach. That is the way banking works. First, you get them just to mess with it. Once they mess with it, you introduce the XRP token. Once they see how quick and transparent it is, and how cost effective it is, what do you do next? You make them hold the token. They buy it in batches. Now, when a bank is going to buy XRP, folks, they're not buying 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. They're buying mass amounts of XRP. What happens when banks start buying up XRP? We get into a supply and demand issue. Everyone knows supply plus demand equals price. It's that simple. The less there is something floating out there, the higher the price is going to be because the demand is going to be out there and people are going to be fighting for it. Now, this segues us into this. In the Beyond Market, Dilt Rao stated Ripple is planning to bridge to bring distributed ledger technology to India for cross-border remittances. What is he talking about? Here's the article right here. Beyond Markets. This is the Mumbai paper, right? I'll call it the Mumbai Times for the sake of this. April 16th to the 30th, volume 14. This just went down, folks, a couple of weeks ago. Let's do a quick little search right here. Companies such as Ripple are looking to change the way cross-border remittances all carried out. Dilip Rao, the managing director of Ripple Asia Pacific, used to be, right? He stated this. You have to work out solutions for bankers and tell them how it fits into their environment, as they are not used to, be, not used to doing it on their own. We decided to focus on solutions for banks and only on cross-border payments. We think that cross-border payments, there is a fundamental problem in terms of how banks work with each other. Ripple is planning to bring distributed ledger to India for cross-border remittances. What did India just pass? That they're going to have a digital rupee for the central bank. What else did we know about Ripple in India? Well, we know that they're hiring four positions currently over in India. One is them to help them integrate a central bank digital currency and to make sure that it actually works. Why is Ripple targeted in India? Well, it states it right down here, folks. Ripple sees potential in India. For a country like India, which is the biggest receiver of remittances in the world, removing the friction in these transactions will make a huge difference. Typically, remittances are expensive for small companies. Banks charge on an average over 10%. Some of the third parties' companies might charge more, which is often hidden in a bad exchange rate. We think by enabling banks to use this new infrastructure, it will allow them to reduce errors and also make it cheaper. That's from Dilip Rao, folks. It's coming. India, the largest remit receiver of remittances in the world, creating their own CBDC. It's going to run on RippleNet. There is a reason Ripple is hiring a central bank digital currency manager over in India to help ensure, this is not my words, this is directly from the job posting, that the integration goes right. Massive statements here by Dilip Rao, folks, as we look forward. Hold in there. Hang tight. Get yourself some Lux Lions. Get yourself some XRP merch. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Other Ripple Van Winkle is out.